Hey guys, it's the camel again and welcome back to Kuali Beach in episode 17 already, I guess. And I'm pretty happy to be joined again by the lovely lady designer. Hello there. Hello. And of course, <laughs> as always, uh, the evergreen Mr. Silverette. Hey man. Evergreen? Hey everybody. <laughs> The what? Evergreen? Yeah, the why? No, it's, it's like an evergreen. Oh. Uh, okay. That was surprisingly <laughs> philosophical. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, anyway, we are back <laughs> together. And, um, yeah. You're making my station! I'm finally making your station, yeah. Yes! I, I do have to say <laughs> that it was like from the first second of playing this park, uh, it really, really like a little spot on the park in my eye, which I always wanted to tackle. But I thought, okay, you can't just start over in the first episode with building another one station. So I just was keeping it away. And yeah, <laughs> this time I thought, okay, you know, you made this little boomerang coaster uh, in front of this area. And I thought, okay, it might be the best idea to just make the entire area finished. And so I thought mm. I have to go in with uh, the river rapids. And yeah, there we go. It's, um, I'm so happy you do. And you're using the new pillars. They are so yeah, they're cool. super awesome. They are having a great texture, to be honest, and mm -hmm. I really love them. They they kind of tend to be a little too big, I guess, but that's maybe just a general thing about the game, that all pieces tend mm -hmm. to be a little bit too big. Um, but I try to use them in a way so that it isn't too bad to use them as, as really substantial pillars to the station. Uh -huh. So cool. I wish I had them before because this texture is so good and what I used for the temple was with the uh, fountain pieces but this is really an addition to those oh yeah yeah textures. I saw what you used and so nice. I was kind of uh, immediately knowing why the frame rate is like how it is <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> but that's just a side note yes. <laughs> holy crap but it's really nice I really like these textures yeah, I'm a really big fan of them as well. They are like super similar to the textures of the fountains that we had already. Absolutely. I'm not too sure what happened to my English there, but <laughs> at least the actual fountains and we don't have to worry so much about the, you know, textures or the animations being super laggy. Oh. Plus they're just, you know, some general like things that you can build all kinds of things out of yourself. Ah, you mean like with your mind train where you used mm -hmm. like a million fountains just to... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that situation probably could have been avoided, but, you know, I, I really wanted to use the fountains there, but in most other cases, I think these pillars are going to be a pretty good, like, solution to the entire lag problem. Oh, I like the way you're just kind of shifting yeah, everything. Same. Yeah, I just <laughs> I was looking at it like, oh, that's so cool. I just wanted to make it look like a little bit broken down, like if it's like an, mm -hmm. a weathered and, and overgrown um, kind of station and um, yeah I will already uh, no also in the end I will put down so many stuff and foliage and everything else in so that it looks really mm -hmm. like, like falling apart and stuff like that so yeah oh, I always tend great. to do this like this so build in everything really like as it was good and new and then just oh I love the vines and the ropes over there oh that's <laughs> awesome <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I just had to say that. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah, those ropes are That's amazing so cool. to use. I, I will also use them later on for yeah. something else. And I, I think it, it, it worked. Yeah, nothing too special. But it just, <laughs> it just worked out pretty well, I guess. And um, yeah, but what I was about to say is that I try always to build, like as you can see here, um, just quite normal. Like if it was real and, and, and completely new mm -hmm. and then later on just go in and and shift all the all the pieces around like i do here i, I do the yeah. same i did the same with my temple yeah oh wow and it would be so much easier this if is the so is new would work properly sorry just to mention this again yeah <laughs> I, I can, mm -hmm. yeah i know what you but, mean i know you're but my, my, my aim but is to, uh, to now talk about this in every episode until it's fixed just to make yeah. <laughs> good point good point i know you've got a few supporters yeah. with that one of them being me so uh Same. <laughs> good luck on your journey yes. i hope it it won't yeah. take too long that journey mm, same 
So yeah, I I really hope. <laughs> the, 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 Sorry, the, like, awkward silence. I was looking at no, your. No, like the, the silence video, of like... the 3D gizmo. The silences are completely fine. Yeah. Like we're we're always oh, no. kind of like in this call. Like as soon as the, the silence drops, it's like ah, oh, gotta fill it. But, you know, you can no, also just you, have a, a bit of like looking at the time lapse and all. It's a personal thing. I I just hate awkward silence. Yeah, but in this case, it's just good. Well, you don't feel it's awkward, but I I don't like silences at all. <laughs> Well, but in this moment, mm. it had to be like a moment of silence for the three gizmo, uh, three gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was more like having my moment of silence of just looking at the time lapse with all my attention. That's also fun. Yeah, that that was, I appreciate that. That was the reason, <laughs> but still. <laughs> because you no know, time lapses don't have to be awkward when everybody kind of acknowledges that they <gasps> aren't awkward. What do you do with my temple? I'm. Oh, oh I think you're too close for the roof. <laughs> I already seen the, the screenshots, but oh, so cool. Yeah, I thought like you know. I, I've seen so many people using my temples in different ways. They send me pictures, or they show me their parks, and they're like, "Ah, oh, Luca, if you can find your temple over here." And they they made so many awesome stuff with just that temple. It's so funny. Yeah, to it's see. amazing. I I just thought of of doing a new one, but then I thought just okay, why should I do this? Because it's it's really great and it fits the style, and so there's no need to change it. And uh, no, yeah, you're so basically right. Basically, that was. And uh, just to mention it, I don't know what happens here, but uh, I had such a big struggle to get in the past correctly. Just look at it for, for a second now. It's so awkward. Oh, I just <laughs> wow. I just you know it's, it's just not working. And I was like flattening it out the whole time, looking at it and. Yeah, no, it's flattened out, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And hey, what's going on? So I decided to stay <laughs> a little bit um, raised up and then later on fill this all in with foliage, which is for kind of a little bit jungle area and, and broken down. It's completely fine. But yeah, just for the sake of gameplay wise, it was really awkward. Mm, yeah, that's weird. But still, it looks Yeah, I good. guess the path system, when it comes to like having paths interact with the terrain, is still a little bit funky at times. Like it doesn't really want to like itself too much when it comes to like trying to get it to go around hills and stuff. Yep. You know, even if it's flat, I often find that like somehow the terrain isn't 100% flat, if you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, I, I exactly know what you mean. I had the same with placing my go-kart ride in Rio Bravo and it was like, I flattened it and, and for some reason it wasn't flat and I just didn't get what happened. It was so weird. Yeah, it definitely is. And I just, for some reason, I just came along uh, a little bit of a tutorial for City Skylines, uh, which a Strict Toaster made uh, about how to mm -hmm. get in perfect um, inclines and declines. And there's also something in, in uh, City Skylines where you can make a really nice and smooth incline to terrain with a little option. Mm -hmm. I would love to see something oh, like yeah. in um, Plant Coaster as well, because then you could you know, you could just rise up to a level and then flatten it out um, in a way that mm -hmm. you can put down pass correctly. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. That's actually, that so I nice. think, yeah, I I've, I've think I've heard that a while before, but it's it's one of the, it's, it's probably the only thing that I don't like about the terraforming tool, though. Not to be, you know, too much of a Nancy Pensy here. It's, oh, it's Nancy Pensy. Like, <laughs> in general, <laughs> Yeah. It's it's supposed to be negative Nancy, isn't yes. it? Yes. I'm completely out of it today. But in general, there are just so many things that are amazing about the terraforming system and it's definitely superior to yes. City Skyline's terraforming system in every single way. It's just that little thing that kind of sticks out that's a bit annoying about it. And I think you can kind of take like everything that we're complaining about in this episode already, because kind of my general feelings toward Planet, Planet Coaster are just that it's it's really amazing. And there are so many great parts of this game, and I just love it in general. But the more I kind of look at it, the more there are these super tiny details that I'm kind of like, mm, that could be a bit better. Yeah. That's kind of how yeah. I feel about many things. But the good thing yeah. is that we are complaining on such a high level that, um, you know, we yeah, can... Yeah, why are you so complaining? You shouldn't complain that much <laughs> in your improving. videos. It's improving. <laughs> yeah, I know why you're making this point right now. <laughs> Because you're, you're the most... I'm just so annoyed by that. Like, people are commenting in my videos that I'm always complaining. I'm like, oh, I'm okay, as... probably the most positive one. No, you're the most negative person. 
you're never laughing. You're never, laughing. <laughs> you're never hyped. You're always bored and lazy. Yeah, no, no, I'm always very, very grumpy as well. Yeah. There's never it's been fun. like all of those whoop whoops in the chats. I've Ooh. never heard any of that. <laughs> never. Yeah. It's always the lady. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Corellis. Yeah. We shouldn't miss Corellis. I miss Corellis. I do as well. But. Yeah, yeah, we should so. try to get him in the next video again with Sylph. Yeah, we should try. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's all come in to get Corallus back next week. And let's hope... just chant the magic spell in the comment section yeah, and summon Corallus. Oh, and yeah, if you got that magic him. spell for tidying up a room, just comment as well. Tidying <laughs> up a room? What? Yeah, I'm just always too lazy to do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine, but I wasn't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just take the best the best fix is to not make it a mess in the first place. Oh, that would be too wow. easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe someone of Germany uh, is a cleaner and could come to your house. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's always combined with paying, right? So <laughs> pain. What? Yeah, I mean, I I don't think that they're coming for free. That's basically the problem. Mm, oh yeah, that, that's 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 the thing. Yeah. Hmm. Well, fuck your <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, I guess there are more. Oh, I problems. love what you do. What are you doing? What you are doing right now? Those ruins. I don't know if you can call it that way, but yeah, yeah ruins. I, oh, I guess it's that's looking what it so should be. good. And um, yeah. So why wow. why is there again some double footage in uh, anyway? <laughs> is that, oh yeah, there is <laughs> I, indeed. I, I don't I saw know you place is, that bush. Yeah. I also, oh I wow. This bush. People won't notice until now when we <laughs> until yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you can now go into detail what I did there. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So so let's talk about these ruins. They are so awesome. Yeah, I, I have to say I had a little bit of trouble uh, getting into actual some ruins from like the Polynesian Hawaiian area so I was uh, looking for some pictures and um, there were basically like really really old ruins which are basically not kind of stonish but more like also with these dark thatch roofs which are overgrown yeah. and um, I uh, then I found you. some some really old ruins and they are just basically like this like big pillars and uh, really straight structures, so nothing really mm -hmm. crazy in, in terms of um, different angles. So this is why I also, yeah, most of the time work with the grid, um, which I ex yeah, actually don't like that much. But in this case, it was pretty easy because they tend to be as well pretty parallel and, and straight lines and nothing really strange. And um, then mm -hmm. I just wanted to bring in some really nice um, wood stuff as well combined with some stone pillars and i think it worked and out rope. pretty good yeah and rope of course <laughs> always rope. i love the rope <laughs> and just a lot of stones and it foliage so good <laughs> yes. yeah but it really really looks so nice what you did i'm so happy you started as at this area i really am it is, it's same amazing. actually i was trying not to get to this but this it works out a lot better than anything I was trying to come up with. So yeah, thanks for so. getting to that. Yeah, you're welcome. I just, awesome. I, as I said, I just wanted to do it for quite a long time. And um, I, I had another idea uh, with something we all, all of us three agreed last time that we need to have something in our park, which I'm not going to spoil right now because I think maybe Sylph is going to tackle it. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, you mentioned something in Twitter <laughs> chat that we need something in our park. And I was about to do this, Ooh. but I have—I don't even have a clue what you're talking about. Oh, wow! I remember you saying <laughs> something. We need. Yes, I know. I know. You were the one to come up with that, you know. Yes, he did. I literally have no idea. It's all, it's, but anyway, it's what it's did you want to say? To water mm -hmm. and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Right. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Sports? I, I wanted to do this as well, and um, here comes the next story of the camel's life uh, it's always the same like I was like okay you're just going into Kuali and making some pretty nice stations uh, of the river rapids and after this you're going into yeah the one you were talking about in the chat and I'll doing amazing and then I just built the station and two and a half hours were gone and I was like okay no, I'm not <laughs> going to do this in this episode so basically Oof. again time-consuming oh. stuff in plant coaster Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think oh, I just it looks so good how you turned that bush. Yeah, I think I just heard a <gasps> guess from the lady designer going, 
like oh, about that bush, like yes. actually putting it upside down and using those branches to build like, like a custom yes. bush. That's really clever. I used that bush so many times and I never thought of turning it upside down and use it this way. Oh, I love looking at other people's videos. This is exactly how you get your inspiration. Like, yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, no, basically, I, I just thought of something Sylph said in some of his last videos. He said, like, it's it's easy to get uh, new foliage just to, by rotating existing ones. And yeah, I simply true. did this with a, yeah, a lot of stuff. And then I just found out, okay, that could work. And it did. So I'm pretty happy. And uh, talking about stuff I'm pretty happy with, we are now at something which I'm... I don't know if I'm happy with, but yeah, let's just... I've seen this and I just couldn't place it i seen it in your screenshots and i was like what is that and then i got yeah. distracted what I is had the it? same kind of feeling yeah so like are you making bamboo yeah, that's it so i i was trying to make bamboo but i'm not entirely sure if i will leave it as it is uh because i was trying then off screen to, to get in with something that could be little leaves because you know i love the texture and i love the color of those um pillars in, in general but there is l mm -hmm. lacking something like little flowers on top of it you know like there's always on top of the bamboo is like those little green leaves and mm -hmm. i just yeah, don't yeah. know what i can use for for making those leaves so if i will find something i will leave it in if not i may change it because it you know it, it feels like a little bit out of place but i just tried it because i wanted to go in with some bamboo because while googling mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. these stuff i just found out that always there is some bamboo around these areas because you know yeah <laughs> yeah i was just about to say that's a super clever idea because you do see bamboo a lot around you know parks but even you know real life places like this it's it's actually a foliage thing that might be a very cool addition to the game. Wink, wink, <laughs> notch, notch. Uh, yes, exactly. So here is another. We are still not happy with Planet Coaster. We now want bamboo. <laughs> yeah. No, but I oh, I love these lockers as well, by the way. Yeah, I, I, me too. So, so cool. I just took them and, and just changed them slightly to fit it into and that this area. Roof. And, uh, yeah, that <laughs> was... It's so cool to use those those chocolates for the texture, right? Yeah, it, it, I used it many times in the Lady of Wonderland. It's so cool. Yeah, they do have a texture which, from a, a perspective, from a little bit far away, it looks like actually dark or like really overgrown thatch, maybe. So you know that was the mm -hmm, idea, mm -hmm. but it's. I think it works out pretty good, but yeah, um, yeah, it does. Yeah, it works out really well. Like yeah. the Christmas and candy pieces in general, they have so many different uses. Mm hmm absolutely how did you even come up with that by the way did you just put some random chocolate wafers on there and you was just like oh that works uh, no no it was like you know i had the idea to do this with the waffle and then i figured i can't recolor <laughs> the waffle and i was mm -hmm. like okay mm, okay then i was really disappointed and just scrolled down the menu and was like okay maybe you can take this one and um, I still have no clue why we can't recolor this chocolate piece because there are three different pieces exactly the same pieces in mm -hmm. three different colors true and you, can't, you know you can't recolor them but they are three times in a game with three different colors but the same model true so what <laughs> yeah I was like, so, so what yeah I, I get what you mean yeah like, that's that's quite weird so yeah but I, yeah fortunately the darkest uh, color was exactly the one i was looking for so that was pretty good but that's it would have good. been cool to just... Oh, are you making picnic benches, Mr. Camel? <gasps> oh, I still can't believe they're not in game. Okay, now I'm complaining, but <laughs> the, the, the picnic benches were was were probably the first video I saw of Planet Coaster. Yeah. Placing It wasn't on the Planet Coaster YouTube. It was on the Planet Coaster Leaks YouTube channel, something like that. And I they think, placed yeah. a video with picnic benches and children sitting on it and then eating on that picnic table and they never put it in the game. I have a certain feeling that they are working on this. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. Like they were working on go-karts yeah. for like before the game. I think it's was, programming wise out. it should be pretty <laughs> difficult, I guess. It, it seems to be I really think, easy, yeah. but I guess with all the animations and pathfinding and you know, I think it's pretty hard to do. And, um, yeah, I, I you think know, so I, I think it's better that they will get this right because, like, 
it's super the 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 all the pathfinding system is super CPU intensive, and I I would really mm -hmm. hate it if they would just bring it out because all are screaming for it, and then they will mess up the performance by just implementing mm -hmm. this. So, so now we're we're now complaining that it isn't in the game, and then you will complain because it doesn't work yeah, well. So, <laughs> so better just wait. <laughs> and there we go, by the way, with the name of the River Rapids. I just want to, to mention this because otherwise oh. we forget about this. Uh, what was it again? What was it it was uh, Kaheana, which means in Hawaiian simply river. <laughs> it's, it's as simple awesome. as it is. You know. I love that name. And by the way, I, I've chosen one name for my boomerang as well. Because there were so many awesome comments with, with finding some awesome names. But what I really liked was from... Good if Phil Gaming, I think, I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> and that was Ka Naheka, and that is roughly Hawaiian for the snake. So thank you for that name. I really like that name. So I'm going to use hey, it. And, whatever and you guys think by the way, it. I've got a thank question you. then for all of you guys watching <laughs> yeah? the video. If there is anybody oh. out there speaking Hawaiian, please give us a hint because I think we can actually use you to, to get the pronunciation right in future. So maybe, <laughs> so maybe yes. to find names and, and, and maybe a video in the end you could pronounce their name correctly. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> great. so you say it again, your river. How you, how I you think pronounce it's that? Kahe Ana. Okay, but I, and I think it is yeah. Ka Nahika. I don't know. Can't I'm glad be. I don't have to pronounce everything for today. <laughs> Please do <laughs> Next now. Next episode, so Please. we'll be doing something to pronounce. <laughs> what? Kanaheka and Kanaheka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, we really need some Hawaiian help. Yes. So. H-H, yeah. <laughs> Hawaiian help. That's good. Oh, we definitely need this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. So now, by, by the way, I'm just going to fill up all the empty spaces to make this area finished. And um, in just a few seconds, we will go into something which I really failed a lot. I will just announce that I'm going to fail in a few seconds a lot because there, no, I think everybody... No, fail. I am. I am. Because um, I think a lot of people did have the problem when the update came out. It's regarding a, a simple fence with a net in the middle. And this one was rotated in a strange way. Oh, I can already feel the physical pain. Oh, yeah, I saw that in Kowali Beach with that diving coaster. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, I saw that and I was like, wasn't this supposed to be another way? I, I really was looking at it like this looks so weird. But I, I we didn't go. understand what happened. There it is. Oh, that's <laughs> I really thought, like, uh, did I miss out on something? And then I was just trying I to fix it. it and uh, somehow I just, it doesn't matter in which direction I turned them. It was something like, uh, okay, okay, what's what's happening here? And, wow. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, okay huh? wait for it. I just tried to do it again. And then, yeah, I just simply failed a few times. Like, okay, this doesn't work as well. <laughs> uh, so try it this way. Um, wow. Yeah, mm, no. <laughs> and then again, mm, no. <laughs> So in the end, I ended up doing Damn. it by hands again. <laughs> it was like, oh. I just wanted to steal the little um, fence to use it uh, over there on the boomerang coaster, which you will see then in a second. Uh, while I decided to go with an own one then there again. But anyway, and I, so I just, it was really awful because I was like, okay, I'm just going to rotate mm -hmm. them for a second. Well, wait, no, that's not working. Wait, what? what's actually, and yeah, oh. there are a few more minutes that work on. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible, yeah. It sucks so hard when it changes some, yeah, but, some objects but in the game. I'm, I'm definitely not going to complain about anything because there could have been no, broken so much, but just this tiny fence. True. Okay, you know, that's just fine. I'm. I'm it's always just yeah. a few items when an when a update comes up. But sometimes it really sucks. Like I remember with Alpha 2, I think it was Alpha 2, when you had those pirate towers, and they <laughs> yes. were all split up. <laughs> I was like, what happened? No. But, I mean, the, but it was easy yeah, to I mean, that was Alpha. So I think when you're playing a game in Alpha or even in Beta, you can just, you know, um, I'm not saying that I, I was like reckoned with it because I did so many stuff uh, in the Alphas, which was really awful that it was changed so much. But um, in a beta or alpha, I think it's pretty normal that things are going to change. But in the full release, mm, it shouldn't be happening. 
Oh, I love that yeah. fencing, by the way. Oh, <laughs> Sorry yeah. for the that, yeah, that was the thing with the ropes I was announcing at the beginning. So, oh, that's so yeah, cool. this is the kind of stuff that we. I'm really happy we have ropes for now. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I haven't thought of this, but this is so cool. Yeah, and that was it already with the time lapse, I guess. Oh yeah. wow! Uh, so that went fast. Yeah, I think if we do yeah. put in some more of uh, the cinematic shots at the beginning and at the end and so on, we will have a little bit of time to say. <laughs> really good goodbye to all of goodbye. you yeah. and i guess i will as i said just try to tackle the the bamboo a little bit again and then we are good to go with this episode awesome yeah, yeah you did such a great great oh, job thank Rudy. You. again and now I, thank you yeah. for making that station. oh you're yeah, really welcome as i said because and thank you for making the nets as well oh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so a little bit of safety did you notice I, I put down the diving coaster into the water what Hmm, that's a very good point uh, because it can now go into the water. By the way, exactly. I did, oh, wow. but not by that the way, perfect. Do, but... do you know if you do this, the water is splashing itself? I, I just when I was oh, I when heard I was that. building the um, the hanging coaster, the steel hydra in my our coaster series, um, I just made it a little bit too low just for testing reasons, and then it goes into the water with like the little fins on on this coaster, mm -hmm. and it simply makes a splash, and it does even splash more when it's deeper in the water. Oh, that's awesome. And I, saw, and I, I saw haven't like, noticed that. I just, you know, what? <laughs> it was so amazing. It's so cool. Yeah, it was. So maybe we can interact. It's almost like they planned it from the beginning because the diving coaster has been there since the beginning and it has, it has always had those yes. fins. They just sure. never had that thing going on yeah. with it. Yeah, maybe. Or it was just a coincidence, but it works out yeah, really that well. that could be. But I think maybe, Sylph, you can go ahead and try this or not, maybe. I'm really curious to see what you're going to do with the park next time. Mm, same. So am I because I have no idea what to do. I have do. an idea. No, I saw your bo boomerang coaster. <laughs> no, Sylph has his topic. I guess he has. Yeah, maybe. that's true. But maybe something else. I don't want. I don't even want to talk no. about the boomerang coaster. Why? <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think she knows I'm gonna just remove it and just build my own coaster. In that. No. I'm if you to... dare, <laughs> Mr. Silverette. Hashtag realistic revamp. Hashtag. <laughs> uh, it's so it's so cool that we can make fun of this guys so i mean like maybe oh, maybe we we'll take this opportunity to make a point of this because i i saw so many comments like oh gosh i hope lady and rudy are not too too bad about this that uh, sylph is going to do this and this and i hope rudy and and sylph are not too disappointed that lady's going to do this and this and so guys we are doing a collaboration and we well, i will be everything. very disappointed if silverette will delete my boomerang oh, no, what kidding. are you gonna do <laughs> how are you planning to stop me just wait and see what happens hmm, hmm. yeah i'm gonna remove it <laughs> oh no you don't okay that could be a big big problem for the relationship Ooh, that will be the end of the collaboration. Rudy, can you not say the word relationship around here? No, please stop it. I gotta. I, I'm, I'm paid for this. Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I think what you were trying to say is, you know, this is just a game and this is just it a clap for funds anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. No, it doesn't. Exactly. And we appreciate all but of the still. work we do. And so, you know, that's it. I think that's a pretty good end to this episode. Uh, yeah. Agree. Yeah. So next time we'll see each other on Sylph's channel, and I hope you mm -hmm. guys enjoyed this episode. So goodbye and uh, have a nice day. Bye, Bye guys. guys.